Ah, that'll do. Okay. Right, do you want to start? Do you want to go first? Uh, hello. Um, we are not in the Yorkshire Dales right now. <laughs> <laughs> we are somewhere completely different. Uh, we are not on the Coast to Coast Walk because we've had to stop it. We are very sad about it. Um, but yeah, here's a little update from us about what's been happening. It's four, no, 5.20. 5.20. I'm not really sure what on earth we're doing. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> we don't care. We're prepared for everything. Now I don't think I am. So it was going really well. We got the train up. Um, to St. Bees, we met a couple of other coaster coasters. They were similarly like, we've never done anything like this before. It was really exciting for, for all of us, just chatting away on the train. And we got to St. Bees, we started walking. It was absolutely amazing hot weather. The packs were quite heavy because we were just in our like lightest shorts and, and t-shirts and yeah, just uh, chugging along really nicely. I don't know what to say, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Just walking by the Irish Sea, past some beaches and stuff like that. It's just absolutely stunning. I have no words. I don't think I'd realised that it was going to be this beautiful at the start. Just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to change my clothes because I was wearing way too much. It's really warm. I mean, you look like an ultra marathon runner, so. And uh, we, we were a couple of miles short of our end of the first day uh, stopping point, uh, but that's what we expected because we were traveling up, uh, obviously traveled up early in the morning, uh, and that was okay. I'm uh, warm, but I'm quite grateful for that. Uh, my feet are okay, uh, thanks to you, John. And uh, feeling good. Where are we? Uh, we are uh, on day one. And we slept on top of uh, a hill. It was beautiful. A lovely sunset, a very lovely place to be. We head off on our second day with quite a few miles to cover. Uh, another beautiful day, uh, really demanding with the packs and everything. Tough, uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of miles and, and quite tough work, but it was exactly what we wanted to do, so we were very happy with that. Uh, yeah, it was just Quite a, quite a tough day, but it was going well. It was. We went round Ennerdale, which was the uh, which is a lake, and uh, a very long one. But it was rocks and roots underfoot. Really, uh, really hard going. Mm. You think walking three miles is going to be uh, is pretty straightforward, right? For and it's only as straightforward for us. But the terrain was difficult. We were scrambling at times, and uh, with the packs and the boots, it was very hard on the feet, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. But we were kind of just, yeah, we were doing really well. But what happened? At the end of uh, second day, we are walking up a very steep hill, uh, which uh, made us feel like we could do anything. We could conquer the world. We just, uh, we looked down at where we'd been and, and we're like, oh my God, we walked up there. It was, it was very steep, but then you have to go down again as well. We were like, we can do anything. <laughs> you know, we, we, we didn't think we could get up this hill tonight and we did it. Like we were super pumped and, and uh, proud of ourselves. Yeah. And then on the descent uh, into Honiston slate mine, so really, really steep descent, tough going, uh, the toughest bit, I think, physically. Mm. And the first few days in the Lake District are the hardest, uh, by all accounts. Um, I uh, started getting a pain in, in my calf. So, as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, my Achilles were, were both um, a bit of tendonitis in both Achilles. So, instead of, uh, instead of like dorsiflexing the foot on the way up this hill that we went up uh, in the, the, at the end of day two, um, I was doing like a sort of tiptoe. You know, like doing it like this, and that was putting loads of um, just putting a load onto my calf, plus the additional 17 kilos of the backpack. Um, it was just too much for for the calf, which is where I've had a problem before, and uh, getting a sharp pain. And at that, at that point, 
started to get the feeling that, oh dear, this is kind of what, what I was worried about and uh, ended up descending into Honiston. If you've ever seen it, if you've ever done it, you'll have an idea what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, like a crab, like sort of sideways steps. Yeah, you couldn't really walk properly. I couldn't walk properly at all. And uh, we just kind of had to, uh, um, to make a decision. We were wondering that evening if maybe we could, you know, rest a day and, and see if you could uh, recover. But really when that, when that injuries come back, then then it's kind of too late. If you can't walk properly, uh, you can't really go on a hike, let alone a hike in uh, the Lake District carrying a heavy pack. So uh, we were very sad about it. Uh, quite a few tears in the morning yes. the next day, yeah. uh, realizing that we basically had to, uh, to come back to this walk at some other point. So we uh, headed home and had a travel day from hell <laughs> on the trains home, but that was fine. Cause I think at that point we, uh, we were just sad that we weren't in the lakes anyway, so anything would have been, been sad. But yeah, we, we traveled home because John has to be able to, to walk in the future as well. We can't kind of destroy our bodies uh, and <laughs> ignore injuries uh, to do this. So, uh, so we've had to put it on pause and uh, we're going to come back and do the walk next year, mm -hmm. already planning it. Um, trying to find the time time off because obviously we'd worked hard to, to get this time off yeah. so you know it's not very easy for us but we are very excited to do it again we are planning to do it hopefully in the spring next year uh, so we're going to keep the um, fundraiser open uh, we've uh, I've extended the the closing date of that till summer about a year from now basically so we will keep that open we have reached 77 percent uh, of our goal so thank you so much to everyone who's donated. Um, it's, it's really keeping us going, especially now that we kind of have to, to, to keep, you know, the, the hope of completing this for, for much longer. We're going to keep yeah. that open. Give it a go in the springtime. Yeah. I'm already plotting my, uh, my rehab and uh, going to get calves from hell. <laughs> like going to be like a sack of potatoes under each knee um, by the time we try this again. Yeah. We've yet to decide whether we're going to resume the walk at the point at which we had to hitch a ride uh, or start it again. There's, there's a question both ways. Yes, um, yeah, definitely. We did about 13% of the walk, did we, yeah, did we find? Yeah, yeah in the we, first two days. So. We did 30 miles in two days on pretty tough terrain. So we're kind of, we were going, we were going well. Mm. And it's a shame because the last, you know, the last 70%, 75% of the walk is, is a bit more straightforward. In, it's like it's more just walking than, than scrambling um, and, and fell climbs. Uh, so we had another day or two of tough of tough walking, and then it would have been easier. So we just pushed too hard on day two, trying to make up the time. Um, and you know maybe there's a lesson in there for us in terms of doing long walks in the future. But yeah, we are we're very disappointed. We've now got all this time to fill. Um, so we're just uh, reflecting on it, and I'm looking at ultralight hiking gear <laughs> online. <laughs> yeah. In conclusion, uh, it's a quite interesting to fail. And it is, it is a failure, however, however you look at it. But it's not a permanent failure. It's just we didn't make it this time. But we are 100% going to give it another go, unless, unless something changes in our lives. Um, and I'm excited about doing it again and completing it. And I think that's going to feel quite special when we, when we do that. Yes, indeed. I feel confident. I know there's going to, you know, people will be a bit disappointed on our behalf and yeah, we, it's, we're not giving up on it and we're going to come back stronger and smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> do we need to sign up a little bit better than that? Don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it there.